prompt. As expected. Welcome, Commander. The gateway is active. I've word that Malice will meet you there. Got a glimpse of the place myself. Frode gave the Queen a proper tour. He'll be expecting you too. Though, between friends, their definition of camp is sweet. I'm sure you'll be very comfortable. Great. You are quite adapted to them, aren't you? How are you feeling about the mission, then? Hard to say without full tactical insight. Glad Malice is joining me. Crossing into uncharted lands and securing contact with Coden wasn't my first guess. Diplomacy is a fine craft, Commander. And making allies requires an artisan. Oh, before you depart. Do we prefer Wayfinder or Commander now? For you? I don't know if you calling me anything but Commander would sound natural. Old habits die hard, I suppose. Good luck. Wayfinder, the guest of honor. Welcome to Moon Candle. Vanak, if you don't remember. Fought with you against the Cryptus and Omnitos. You call this a camp? More like a resort. The Astral Ward? Subtle. Not a chance. <laughs> Good to see you closer to ground, though. I volunteered to help with the integration. Long overdue that we got involved in Tyrian affairs. More publicly, that is. Yeah. Got a few things to atone for. Oh, Commander, Vanak was just giving us the lay of the land. Dangerous place, Janthir. Eager to scope it out. I am as well. There's something about the atmosphere here that wilts my senses. Surprised to see you here. On Dagonet's order, he didn't go into much detail about the Pale Tree's status. And perhaps it's not my place to say. But her recovery has been slower than we expected. Some days she seems weaker than the day before. We search for a remedy. The Astral Ward knows magic, and ancient magic at that. I'm hoping we can form a connection with you. I do too, for what it's worth. And all help is good in these parts. Janthir is a nasty place to get lost. But before you touch ground, Vrode wanted to speak with you, Wayfinder. Seemed urgent enough to prioritize. Right. I'll track him down. Always on your feet like a true soldier. I used to be in charge of Moon Camp before Levente named me Warden. There's obviously more going on if it pulled the Warden from his outpost in the sky. You know us well. It's true. The Lowland Coden will be fine allies of Queen Jenna and the Tyrian Alliance. That is no lie. They know these lands better than most. Janthir and the Northern Stretches are formidable. How much did you learn of Waiting Sorrow during your time in Omnitas? Waiting Sorrow, your missing wizard? Not a lot. Besides the fact that she created the Heart of the Obscure. Indeed. I've never met her, of course, as she's been missing since before Ascalon burned to the ground. This must stay between us, for now. But we suspect that she's hiding among the Coden. You want me to find her? It isn't a burden on your shoulders alone. The ward is here to support in whatever way we can. But, yes, we need you to. Is she dangerous? 
She's very capable. For your own safety, expect resistance. I wish I knew more. I... Uh, between us, Wayfinder, all conversation about her turns Isgarin more conspiratorial than usual. Then I'll keep my guard up. Good. For what it's worth, Dagda doesn't agree with him. She was also waiting Sorrow's closest friend, so... There's bias. But that's all I've got, so I'll leave you to it. Get to know the region. We'll set out in search of the Coden soon as well. They've been known to homestead along the Delta and the coastline. They'll build for a hundred or so years, then move. Unsure of their exact position, but I imagine we're close. We portaled Moon Camp here to avoid scaring the locals. Probably more subtle than flying it over the bay. Good call. Stalwart Hart pulled some research noting they're not especially keen on magic. A floating building may cause alarm. But, good luck. I'll be here to guide you as I can. Ward's busy with the reacclimation. It's going to be a long process. How are things with the ward? Fine. Tense. Isgarin wanted to lock our doors and go back into hiding, but that's just not an option for us. We have a hundred fractal inhabitants taking up residence in Omnitas, and I doubt they want to stay. They're sitting in a limbo of our making. And that's just one problem. Are you going to get the Alliance involved? Probably a smart move. I think we have to. Lear agrees. Uh, he strongly agrees. Iskarin's worried that the world will think us monsters. Which is a fair fear. But our actions aren't above critique. I'm airing my angst. <laughs> Suffered a few long nights, but we're moving in the right direction. Don't let me distract you. Brilliant insights from Frode, Commander. He and I caught up and talked about the Coden. We're not exactly sure where they're settled today, but they're likely close. Astral Ward research also says they're a little distrustful of magic. We'll want to keep that in mind. Sounds like we've plenty to strive for, then. We should get moving. I don't know this region. I'd recommend taking it slow. When we call Janthir treacherous, we mean it. That's a Valraven Talon. Nasty beast. The ward has little documentation, aside from a few first-hand accounts. When few travelers come through Janthir, stay away from them at all costs. come to Janthir to hide from the rest of Tyria. It's why the Mursat built Bavanisos here. Though, that place is all ruins and storms now. Hard to get close. Bavanisos? What's that? Former Mursat city. Fixed in the middle of the Isles. 
been abandoned for a long time. Don't think I'd want to go anyway. Mabon told me about it. it. Didn't sound all that hospitable. He went back from time to time. Memories, I imagine. Or guilt. Can you tell us about the history of this place? Oh, a uh, former home of the Mersat, and later the White Mantle. From my research, there's been very little activity in recent years. Correct. Aside from the Kodan, only a few other groups have called it home. Some centaur tribes, trolls, creatures that keep to themselves. And the Isles are another story. I recommend you read up on it. A lot of blood has been spilled here. It's a cryptus axe. I'd recognize it anywhere. Yep. Moon camp operated in the area during the attacks. Apark's grunts were poking at something here. Never figured out what. Given Janthea's history, I imagine there are any number of things a demon could be drawn to. Not especially inspiring, though. Is Janthir. Huge. Practically in Krita still. But the deltas are considered a part of the Isles due to their climate and flora. It stretches far to the north, running parallel to the northern Shiver Peaks, as far as modern maps are concerned. The Isles and Bay make up most of the occupied territory, with some coastal regions lining the mainland. There was even a small human outpost on the Isles, but it's long abandoned now. Don't know a lot about it. Not a good place to be, then. So quiet. Reminds me of Drizzlewood. Abundant vegetation. I wonder how much of this is edible. I'll let someone else sample the local cuisine. Now where to first? Sounds like something to be determined by a wayfinder. We should follow that stream, see where it leads. Janthiri flora is fascinating. <laughs> And probably very toxic. <laughs> Thank you. 
Darkness, look at you. This is a very old tree. Imagine the stories it could tell us. Standing tall and strong, protecting the smaller growth. Eyes up, Kaith. may be dangerous, but this place... Oh, it's stunning. Beautiful. And deadly. I wonder where the current takes us. Watch out for the cliff. Wouldn't make for a nice fall. Never mind the cliff. Watch out! Those things. Must be Valraven. Talons look just like the one Vinox showed us. <laughs> Ward, I need assistance now! Alchemy! It won't calm! Treacherous, eh? Better check it out. Together, everyone. What has them so riled up? Attacking on sites so close to a populated camp is concerning behavior. But it has something to do with that distress call. Reasonable take. Claw marks. And from quite a large beast, I imagine. Footprints and more claw marks. Chase them away from camp. Blood. We better hurry. Anyone! <laughs> Help us! Come on. Follow as we guide. 
The creature is vulnerable. Then, we don't seek to kill it unless absolutely necessary. Who are you? Outlander, use this sap. Breathe. Who are you? Curious garbs you wear. Perhaps something sturdier would do you better in these parts. Which of you is the leader? Commander. Me. Well met, warrior of the Citadel. I'd like to get to know you. I'm sure the Claw would too. The sun is fading. Wherever you traveled from, our village is likely closer. Follow. We've got a fire for you to sit by. Thank you. We'll follow. But who are you? Bob Vale. Come. You can help us lead the journey, Kin, to safety. But we must move quickly, unless you want to lose yourself in the woods. Our nights have been far darker. The Val Raven watch. Journeykin? You mean that wild animal? Fascinating beasts they are. Came to us from far away. They need protectors. It's enraged again? Stay calm. Help it release that energy, just like last time. <laughs> Again, keep your voices stable. Help it relax. to think that it's enjoying this. It could be. Let it release that energy. Need more dirt. This is interesting. Welcome.
been so close to camp. I was expecting a little more of a hike. It's been a long while since we've let the outside in. Travelers avoid these lands, and for good reason. Not intentional isolation, that is. It isn't my story to tell, however. And we're nearing the pen. Especially feral ones. Only know a life of hunting, fighting for their food. A kind interaction and a gift is sometimes all it needs to learn trust. You return with more than another journey, Kin Spearmaster. More creatures lost in the wild. A claw of the Coden that I've never heard of, huh? Call me Stoic Order. We found them in the forest, defending themselves against this one. I'm glad you intervened before any lives were lost. Come, we should speak. As a delegate of the Tyrian Alliance, it's good to meet you, Stoic Alder. Interesting. I never thought Tyria capable. Clearly, we've plenty to discuss. Come. The village welcomes you. I'll tend to our friend. Thankfully, you've stumbled into the kindest alcove in Janzir. Seems we have visitors, rather unexpected in our keep. Welcome the Tyrian Alliance. Tyria has allied? <laughs> Amusing joke you play, leader. Your skepticism is understandable. But given the severity of recent threats, Tyria needed to act fast. And unitarily. Threats? Well, surely the strangers do not walk among all lands. <clears throat> If you mean the creatures attacking from mist portals, I'm afraid so. We call them cryptus. Ah, mist portals. It's of the flesh stalkers that this alliance speaks. Yes. As foes, they proved fatal ones. Lives lost on your front as well, then. I'm afraid so. And allying proved the viable solution, finally. Fear can be a supreme unifier, or divider, depending on how it is channeled. So, this is why you come to my hearth, with eyes carrying intention. A bid to join your alliance. Who knows what other threats the mists might bring? Should that happen, we'll have strength in numbers. I respect your good intentions, but need time to ponder its implications for our own. For now, that is my decision. At this time, I extend our visitors the opportunity to speak with our council members.
raised by fire. Journey can master. Apologies. My thoughts are occupied by council matters at the moment. If you find yourself with time to pass, my apprentice Burning River is out tending the village Journeykin. Tell him to give you some lessons at my request. They're fine creatures. I suspect you'll make fast friends. Why, hello there. Rai Lycan, humble lore master of the lowland. Long before our tribe came to inhabit Jamthir, we hailed from a sanctuary far in the north. In those times, we were led by two honored Kodan, a claw chosen by the people, Alder's role, same as his mother before him. Also, a voice. She was chosen by Koda himself to share in his mind, ultimately proving her worth by the trial of faith. A trial that would prove both to her detriment and the tribes. Mid-trial, nearly crushed by the weight of madness, she fled. Some call it cowardice. I believe it was the will to survive that seized her from the brink of oblivion. The same will our claw channeled in the trial's aftermath. Rather than risk ruin, he led the tribe south. To Janthir. Given time, some Kodan found themselves called back by the will of Koda. A call they followed to Or. The rest, our forebearers, remained. And it is here, free from gods, tried only by nature, that we find our sanctuary. Well, at least, that's the speech I've prepared for the Cubs' annual history visit. I fear it sounds a bit rehearsed. Fading Aurora, village healing master. Aurora and Barb Vale, who you first ran into, are two of our newest to don the master title. Though, judging by their expertise, one would suspect them seasoned veterans of their respective crafts. Additionally, Aurora has fast proved an upstanding mentor for my son. Currently working on the fundamentals of herbalism. Save some praise for yourself, Alder. The previous Claw would be proud to see how well you're faring in the position. The Claw Aurora speaks of was my mother. Feels both long ago and as recent as yesterday that she stood where I do now. Though a few Claw lengths shorter. <laughs> By my coming of age, she barely made it to my shoulders. But her presence was grand enough to fill the room. A true leader of Coden. Many have noted the resemblance. See a bit of her in you both. Wayfinder, you find yourself in good company. Hope you can make yourself at home here. The role of Claw was taken. So I settled for a title more modest. My son has some years before he claims such expertise, though his mind is sharp. Observing our council provides him practical education, instills discipline. Poise Arrow, son of Stoic Altar and Silken Weir. You? A wayfinder losing their way in our woods. <laughs> uh, and, and now Commander. That has a strong sound to it. But if you insist, lost your wayfinder. Ah, seems our visitor also claims two names. We of the Lowland drop formality with those we most respect. Right, Pokey? Yes, Pa.
Uh, leader, best we return to the planned agenda, pressing as it is. Hmm. Your concerns are sensible, graced by fire. Boris Darrow, I'm afraid our discussion shall prove as stuffy to our guests as the air in this hall. <sighs> Show them around. But we've only just... <sighs> A fine idea. Best they enjoy the weather while it holds. Uh, meet me outside when you're set. Alliance, I deem you welcome visitors for the time being. Feel free to acquaint yourselves with our town. Fortunate for you, the embers of our summer season burn brightest. May your time here pass well. <laughs> <laughs>